This is Mr. Royce, Royce Media, with another video. And in this video, I want to briefly talk about the isms. Colorism, featureism, weightism, uh, uh, the, the, the isms that uh, are used to basically try to um, strong arm men into choosing women that um, they may not choose, they may not otherwise choose, uh, particularly this, this, this colorism, the colorism, featureism, and weightism talk. This is basically, first of all, the people who talk and they cry about this are crazy. These are lunatics. The, the, these, are, uh, these are psychos, first of all. And um, what they're what they're trying to do is the, the acts of emotional terrorism. They are trying to make the, the And first of all, it's not it's really not for everybody. It's really for a small selection, roughly seven percent of uh, the male population, particularly the black male population that uh, these women want. And they're frustrated that they can't get these men because. They don't have the looks to compete with the women that do have these looks. I say that because um, the, let, let's touch on this darkism thing. First of all, there are a lot of beautiful dark skinned women that you don't hear them complaining about this because they are women who they look good. They, 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 they look good and they are able to attract the male suitors that they want. When you hear women who complain about being dark and that they weren't chosen, that's because they can't get those men that they want. And most of that darkism stuff actually comes from um, the women in their family. You know, that, that comes from, you know, that whole that that colorism thing. That's that whole you know, uh, you know, uh, when I have light skinned babies and, you know, that, that nonsense, you know, um, you know, babies with certain types of, uh, you know, certain look. And since they didn't have that look, you know, they weren't treated as well by their family. And that's sad. And that, that that's messed up. And, and a lot of them got treated bad in school growing up. And, you know, unfortunately it is what it is, but make no mistake. These women are chose by somebody. Somebody likes them, you know, because they all got that peace sleeve and somebody want them. It's just who may want them, they may not want. So I don't buy into that, that nonsense. And, and same thing for featureism. You know, first of all, nobody's telling women that they can't like the features that they like in men. You know, some women like guys, you know, um, six foot and over. Some some women like you know they 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 like guys six foot and under. You know some some women like guys with big shoulders with the V taper. Some women like chubby guys. You know um, they they like what they like, and nobody says a thing to them about what they like. You know um, I, I guess the whole thing is these women are complaining that that the men that they want don't like West African features. And that's just a cop out of, you know, if you don't have the symmetry, if you don't have aesthetic symmetry um, as far as your your your, your face. Um, then, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, again, somebody's choosing these women because there's a whole bunch of them walking around with kids, multiple kids. So somebody wants them at least for a little while. So I don't buy into that mess either. It, it's just that that small percentage of men that they want don't want them. No, it's basically it's crybaby and it's emotional terrorism, and that carries over into weightism. You know, um, there was a a, a female uh, PhD on the news not too long ago. She was blaming uh, women's weight gain. Uh, she was blaming black women's weight gain. On Trump policies, 
Um, first is the food. Uh, then it's the, uh, you know, it's the stress is all kinds of stuff. And it's just basically whatever it is, you're overweight. That's a personal choice lots of times. You know, uh, adjust your diet, get some more exercise, um, be conscious of your dimensions, and be conscious of your weight. That's that's one of the most easiest things that people can control. You you can't control what your features are. You can't control the pigment of your skin, but most people can control their weight to a point, you know, um, and medical science has made it easier for people to control their weight and their uh, bodily, their, their physical dimensions. So I'm not buying that, you know, and, and furthermore, again, just like with the, 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 the colorism crybaby and the featureism crybabies, you got some guys out there that, you know, they, they, they love the big girls. And I can tell because you go to Walmart, you go to any shopping store, grocery store, you see the heavy set women walking around with a bunch of kids, you know, and them kids may not have the same father. So there, there's several men that, that like that heavy set woman at least for a little bit. So I don't buy into that. You know, again, it's the men that they want. It all comes down to they want a certain caliber man that doesn't want them. And that's just tough. They, they can't compete with the women who have those attributes that those men are looking for. And they're upset. And they're, they want to try to guilt trip these guys into um, accepting them. And the thing about it is, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, tough. You know, you better get with who want to get with you. You know, bottom line, figure out how to be happy. You know, um, if you can find somebody to give you kids, you can find somebody to put up with you and your crazy bullshit. That's what I say. You know, um, me personally, I I don't care who you would, you know, just be with somebody that makes you happy. I don't care. Um, you know, be happy, you know, and if you can't get who you want, that's tough. That's on you. You got to you got to make some choices. You know, everybody ain't going to get a baller. Everybody ain't going to get. You know, uh, uh, six foot four uh, masters of the universe who's pulling down, you know, 150 plus a year. You know, everybody's not going to get the CEO. You know, um, a lot of your daddies with five, seven, five, eight. You know, so, uh, you know, uh, you know, get with who, who loves and appreciates you, you know, wh whoever that is, you know. Um, be a Tyrone or Todd, you know, give it who appreciates you and keep it moving. You know, stop, stop crying, bitching and complaining. That's the, if you can't let it go, that's the sign of a mental problem that uh, a lot of people wouldn't want to be with anyway. You know, that's some crazy mental baggage. Um, you know, uh, same for you guys, you know, complaining, ah, geez, I, 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 these women, you know, uh, you know, all they want is money and stuff. Yes. Don't nobody want to be with no broke ass guy. No woman in her right mind want to be with some broke ass guy. You know, two broke people together, you know, uh, love don't pay bills. You know, all you got the office and penis, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, hard penis can't, ain't, ain't going to pay mortgages and hard penis ain't going to pay car notes and hard penis ain't going to pay doctor bills and all of that good stuff. You know, you, you got a lot of these guys out here complaining too, which I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to touch on in another video because. You know, some lousy guys out here, too, complaining about women when really the, the problem isn't the, so much the women as it is them. They, they haven't gotten their shit together. So, you know, like I said, I'll touch on that in another video. Um, but, you know, the, the, these women who complain about the, the isms, that's terror. That's emotional terrorism. When you hear them talk like that, you know, take a note and keep it moving and, and leave them over there. You know, let them let them get in there, uh, you know, their gaggle and cry, you know, let them let them be let them live with their isms, you know, um, they, they're they not going to stop complaining. So, you know, you really don't want that headache in your life. On that note, it's the end of this video. This is Mr. Royce, Royce Media. Like, share, subscribe, get in the comment section, um, you know, 
to um, and, and enjoy the your Corona lockdown. You know, don't be uh, you know, practice that social distancing. Don't be breathing on each other, mouth kissing, and stuff. And uh, I'm out.